So this is going to be a video about how you actually open the strainer that comes with the Hario filter in coffee bottle. So if you notice, there's um, there's actually an arrow with a little notch here that indicates some direction. Uh, it's not clear whether you would you know turn the strainer in that direction to tighten or loosen the cap, um, but I can tell you that that's the that's the sort of assumption is that you start with a disassembled strainer and then you um, you know align the groove here with the um, the tab that's in the body of the strainer and then you sort of turn it in in sort of this this uh, direction to tighten the strainer with respect to the cap. Now when you um, when you look at it from the perspective of the cap, it's very much like you're screwing in a screw. Um, you, you, you know, if you hold the base stationary, you turn the, the cap, um, you know, you turn right to tighten it and you turn left to loosen it. So that's the whole lighty tighty lefty loosey principle. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that this is quite fragile. Um, it is, um, you know, made in Japan of a pretty high quality, but in order to keep this, uh, I'm assuming keep this as simple as possible, the satiny uh, weave woven filter is actually just um, probably heat affixed to the, the bottom uh, or the strainer. So you want to sort of grip it in a structurally sound location, which is near the top, and just sort of turn the cap uh, right to tighten it, and then gently sort of um, turn it to the left to loosen it. And uh, the, the, I think this is going to be the, the biggest surprise and the, perhaps the biggest disappointment in this product is just that it's actually so hard to operate. But um, I think we'll, we'll find that it is, it is going to be worth the value. This is a $10 less than the comparable product that you can get from Blue Bottle that I saw an ad on Instagram for. So um, someone in the comments actually pointed out that this is practically exact same product exists in the Hario lineup. Uh, I'm assuming that the trade-off here is just an ease of use. So just in summary, um, the arrow that's on the base of the strainer uh, shows the direction you would turn it with respect to the cap to tighten um, the way you would actually loosen it as you would need to do when you first unbox the strainer is you uh, keep the base stationary and then twist the cap to the left to loosen it. Um, hold the cap uh, and then turn it to the right to sort of tighten it. Now, when you actually go to use this, um, as the instructions will say, you don't wanna be shaking it vigorously. You wanna sort of gently shake it um, to to uh, hydrate the, the grind um, before you put it in the fridge for eight hours. Um, you know, that's probably because this cap is only held to the base of the strainer through friction, um, through the little bit of uh, pressure, um, and there's no actual seal. So it's very possible if you shake it too vigorously that the grind can escape and you sort of pollute your uh, otherwise, you know, very clean cold brew. So, um, I hope this has been useful and uh, let me know if you have one of these and how it's working for you um, and uh, I will do the same. I'll be posting in the comments how this worked out for me. Thanks for watching.